The theme for this International Women Day 2019 is Think Equal, Build Smart, and Innovate for Change. This brings a new energy to all of us. The theme has been customized in line with our national priorities in implementing the Big Four Agenda, which is manufacturing, affordable health care, housing, food, security, and nutrition. Allow me to single out the commitment of His Excellency the President, Uhuru Kenyatta, and his government in supporting women empowerment. In fact, any event that we have had opportunity, he has always been at the forefront. And in fact, the event we have today builds on what he asked us to do as a ministry. When we recognize the first trailblazers last year, he asked, why can't you make it an annual event? So working around the start, we realize then we should always have it. And I want also to promise that we are doing the second round with the partnership with the IC team, because we couldn't do it alone. Uh, we are launching, we are having it as a second year. We also want to commit ourselves. This yearbook that was published by ICT uh, ends up to 2016. We want to go back and restart 2016 moving forward so that we can be able to launch uh, the next in, in the next International Women's Day. Because we have sat with our ministry, with the partners, and we have said, we cannot just come to have an International Women's Day where just people come and sit. What do they take home? So today we are taking that yearbook, we are taking the new training curriculum, so we feel there is a value add in our time, spending our time here, so that as we celebrate, it's more of counting those gains. I am happy to report, Your Excellency, that since the last International Women's Day, the country's endeavor to realize the right to equal opportunities in all spheres for men and women, girls and boys, has been remarkable and remains on course, as indicated in the documentary that were presented here this morning. The ministry continues to put in place measures to eradicate all forms of discrimination among women and men. Overall, we continue to strengthen the policy framework to advance gender equality and women empowerment. And in, we, we now we can be able to say in Kenya, we can see more women springing up to the best jobs possible in the world. It is like starting to feel normal. A long time ago, Your Excellency, we will not talk about women in aviation. Today, we can talk about women in aviation in Kenya. We could not talk about women engineers. We could not talk about women in big businesses. And I'm always excited by Honorable Giro, who says, women in businesses and women with big money. She talks about big money. So that should excite us. So we are at good space, and that's why we are celebrating. Your Excellency, the road to gender equality and women empowerment is long and bumpy, but we cannot miss an opportunity to celebrate women's achievement. We remain very hopeful that tomorrow will be a better day if we act now and we voice it out. So today, Your Excellency, as it has been said, we have to launch the new coffee book, which has got the story, a journey of 200 women, trail breezes. Each one of them is a story, but when you read them, and uh, I'm happy through, of course, while we are devised by ICTCS, it will be online. Many people can access it, can read each story, and at the end of it, say, what is common? What comes out in all this effort? And I'm sure that will help another woman who is maybe struggling on how to do better, how to improve, and how to build capacity in the sector that they are working. Of course, the whole issue of getting higher heights or leadership, especially in the political front, we have been told about the leadership curriculum that is going to be used as a tool to those who are interested in going in politics to have to be able to compete in a very difficult kind of terrain. But I also I always tell ladies and my friends that you all, even if you all don't go to politics, there is each one of us has a space. But whatever you do, do it to the best of your ability. Do as if nobody has ever done it, so that 
at the end of it, then you will feel some satisfaction because you have done, and I'm sure even all these trade room breezers who are sitting here, Your Excellency, whatever they did, they didn't do it for themselves. Therefore, Your Excellency, today for me is a very emotional day, and I'm extremely happy with you. We launched those two particular publications. In conclusion, Your Excellency, I would like to sing out the Beyond Zero, the Beyond Zero, which is your initiative that is transforming social norms for the better health outcome and the well-being of women and the children in this country. And above all, even being able to showcase it globally as CSW goes a long way to say this is an initiative, an innovation that can be replicated in other countries. 